What up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. We're about an hour and 15 minutes away from kickoff of the Dallas Cowboys versus the Raiders. Now, here's what's funny to me. This is actually hilarious to me. Um, they say that the cost of a ticket to the Raiders preseason game is $117, which is the highest price ticket for a preseason game this year so far. Here's, isn't that, does that sound funny to you guys? $117? Um, I have to say, that's actually a bargain in comparison to watching the Dallas Cowboys in practice. Not, not the game. Not the game that we love. We talk about practice because it's $23 to stand on the sidelines for Cowboys practice in Oxnard. Or if you want to be rolling in the club getting tipsy um, to be in the VIP, it's $290 per day. So the way I look at it is that's actually a pretty good deal because you're inside that Raider Stadium, which I think is pretty cool. I, I will dare say I spent $87 for my ticket to go into uh, the uh, SoFi Field, and I I think I got my money's worth. It was it was a great atmosphere. The food was kind of expensive. It was a little bit loud, but in comparison to sitting out in the sun in Oxnard and thinking about people spending two hundred and ninety dollars is crazy. But be that as it may, tonight we got a couple of people who really need to show up and show off. One, Trey Lance. You know what? I hate to say that Trey Lance is another one of the flavors in your ear, but Trey Lance, I'm just wondering where, Ray Ray, Ray Ray, where all the Trey Lance brought in to compete with Dak Prescott. It's, you know, Trey Lance season. That Dak Prescott is gone. Where those guys are. Are they hanging out with the Andy Dalton? There's no letdown from Dak Prescott to Andy Dalton. Are they hanging out with those guys? Are they hanging out? Uh, is it going to be a big club? Because are they hanging with the guys that Carson Wentz is a Maserati and Dak Prescott is a, a, a Corvette? Are they hanging out with those guys too? Are they hanging out uh, uh, and, and are the Deshaun Watson guys? Get Deshaun Watson because he's a top five quarterback. Are those guys coming to the party? Because this is getting to be a big party right now. This is getting to be a really big party. Are, are the Kyler Murray is better than Dak Prescott guys? Are they showing up in the club? I, I'm just I'm asking for a friend. Because I'm wondering. Because it seems like we are wash, rinse, repeat every time when it comes to Dak Prescott. We are always saying this guy sucks. I believe... Actually, some of those guys from uh, the uh, Justin Herbert, I think some of them need to show up as well. Because, you know, three years ago, he had an incredible season. Incredible. The last two years, not so much. But he got paid over $50 million and nobody batted an eye. But, that, but be that as it may. All, all I have to say to all the Dak Prescott haters out there. Shit. Until you reach the top of Shut Fuck Mountain, where there are no more fuck ups to shut. There you have it, Skip Bayless. Dak Prescott, apparently his career is outlasting yours right now. Be that as it may, I want to see Trey Lance do something. If they get four takeaways, I want to see some touchdowns. Now, keep in mind, the Cowboys never score a lot of points in preseason. They never really win very much. They are not the Baltimore Ravens. But I need to see something out of Trey Lance for that fourth-round pick because had we not used that fourth-round pick to trade for him, we could have gotten a running back. We wouldn't have a running back problem because there were a lot of running backs in the fourth round that were sitting right there where we would have picked had we not gotten Trigger Trey, who is just triggering me right now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Okay. I need to see Deuce Vaughn. 
I need to see Deuce loose. Deuce, who, you know, he's, he's got his dad there. Deuce, I need him to become Wild Thing. Give me Vaughn. Come on, Vaughn. I know he hasn't done very well against this guy, but I got a hunch he's Deuce. I need to see the deuce is loose. I need to see Wild Thing going out there and having a great game because he's on the bubble, guys. I don't know if you realize this or not. He's on the bubble, and if he doesn't show up, I think the Cowboys will definitely be looking for another running back. I want to see with Cooper BB. You know, I'm excited for Cooper BB. Shout out to his dad and his mom and everything else. Shout out to the whole family that is a family of sports uh, sports uh, players or athletes, I should say. Athletes, there you go. Cooper is getting an opportunity to win the job. He showed a lot last week in the 55 plays that was in there, um, especially at guard, that he can maul people. He ain't scared. He's got the power and everything else. The question now is the power, the leverage, the tenacity, the attitude. The question now is, can he get the system down? Can he become the the snapper here? He's not taking the guard position, okay? Not taking, uh, you know, Zach Martin or or Tyler Smith. Sorry, that ain't going to happen. But he does have a chance to go ahead and get this thing going on here, and he's going to get a long look here tonight. And Tyler Guyton. Guyton has got to get some more work in um, and things. We've some, seen some incredible strength, power, and you know I call him Twinkle Toes. Twinkle Toes, like Fred Flintstone, because he's a big man, but he can move. He can truly move well. I need to see those guys do really, really well. Um, I want to see Marshawn Nealon, because if the, and Marshawn Nealon, who you know Micah Parsons is literally comparing him to Cam Jordan, um, if this team is going to be successful, we are going to have to get a major oomph from last year's rookie class and this year's rookie class. And so we want to see those guys because those are the guys that are going to, have to fill in for the places we lost, but not only fill in, but take us to another level, another level. So that's where we are with those guys. And of course, I want to see Agent Zero, who has basically had a couple of preseason games to his repertoire. Um, I need to see him continue to take on and go further and further. Make no mistake about it. I think the Cowboys, they still have holes like any team does. Everybody has some things that look good and some things that don't look very good right now, but it's preseason. And so you understand They're working on things. There's no game planning here. You don't have the full complement of players. So there's a big difference of when you have Micah Parsons out there on the edge or coming in as a a linebacker and stuff on the field. It changes the dynamics of everything. It's a big difference if you got Dak Prescott out there as opposed to Trigger Trey. So, you know, make no mistake about it. All you want to get accomplished this game is get in. Get some good looks at some players so you can figure out if they are going to be what you need them to be and get out healthy. So I'm looking forward to being up till 1 o'clock to watch my Cowboys. And I hope you guys tune in to join in with us and uh, we'll be live the whole time. Peace. Up everywhere. You get dizzy. You probably throw up everywhere. You have to do that thing, man. Get the yeah, thing. dude. All right. You need to stop. <laughs> That's what they do. You get the. You look like you're doing something else. Just stop. <clears throat> That's what they do. That's why I have a friend. That's all. All, all time. Every I, all you hear from him. He's I know. I think it's so obvious. Dip. I don't even pack anymore like that. Pause. But. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what it's called. It's called, it's called patching. Joey's pack. You pack. <laughs>